So what a morning I've had. Um, as you can probably see from the thumbnail and from yeah the fact that this is a day trip video, I've got a ticket. Um, so I woke up at, well, was woken up at half eight this morning by the hotel that I'd originally booked, saying that that reservation had been cancelled due to system error. They put me in a hotel eight miles outside of Liverpool. Um, I've just spent about an hour on the phone just now. Um, it's now two o'clock nearly. Um, sourcing a hotel in the city centre for no additional cost. So I've got Epic uh, Apart Hotel uh, on Duke Street, which is great for 50 quid. Um, and yeah, about 9am I found that I've got a ticket. So shout out to... My good friend Sonny who sorted that for me. Um, so yeah, it's trains in about 10 minutes. Uh, waiting for my mate who I'm gonna travel with. Um, beers are loaded up and yeah, ready to go. Feels like the stars are aligning. I've, I've had so much good luck today um, with getting a better hotel for free despite the phone call and getting a ticket. So yeah, I'm in Liverpool now. Uh, what are we, about three and a half hours till kick off? Uh, pissing down the rain. Which is a great shame as a Champions League semi final, and you associate semi finals with the Champions League with sunshine. Um, fortunately, we're going to get that in Rome next week, but here we are, um, you know, drowned rats in Liverpool on, uh, on a Tuesday night, walking to our hotel now. Um, and yeah, not really an awful lot to, to say on that, apart from the fact that the, ho the train was absolutely filled with um, Liverpool fans. Uh, got chatting to a lovely old fella who he's been watching since the Roger Hunt days, and um, I'm excited. I mean, you know, that's it. I mean, this is probably the boring part of the video, so you probably going to fast forward to the to the game bit, and uh, I'll see you there. Oh, oh the Reds, eh? Kiev's happening. Kiev's happening. Oh 
3 0. It's 3 0. I think we might be there. It's 3 0. It's 3 0. Thank God I've hit my flights. Money. massive odds and it's not making it now. Um, don't panic, don't panic. This point to see the two goals. Nuts in the penalty back, uh, the Milner handball, but we'll see when we get back to the hotel. But yeah, 5-2 is a great result. We don't want to take it out before the game. Let's be happy, let's be happy. So I'm back in the hotel. Um, and I'm even more happy than I was when I got, when I was sort of like rounded up at the full-time whistle, to be honest with you. Um, What's not to be happy about? We've just won the semi-final of the Champions League by five goals to two against the Roma side that are not going to beat us by three or more. Um, I never did it to Barcelona. Uh, I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait at 5-0 to come back in and say, you know, kind of, not I told you so, but like kind of dismiss or everyone that was saying don't underestimate Roma. They're crap. They're nowhere near as good as us. Um, and we showed that, it, we, we got a bit complacent at the end and we took our foot off the gas and we conceded two sloppy goals, but let's not worry, it's a three goal deficit and, and I know you're, you're all going to mention Barcelona, um, but we're not going to make the same mistake, we're just not going to do that. Um, we're not going to underestimate anybody, underestimate anybody. Um, we're not going to be stupid, we're going to go there and score. We've got the best player on the planet at the moment in Mo Salah, he is... In my mind, the best player in the world at the moment. I wouldn't swap him for absolutely anybody. Um, Someone, my, my friend, just texted me saying, "Is he better than Ronaldo 2008?" And in my mind, he is better than Ronaldo 2008. He's not better than Ronaldo 2014 or whatever, but um, he's in a worse team than Ronaldo 2008. Only slightly, but in a worse team, and he's he's just he's more special. He's scoring every kind of goal you can imagine. Uh, both of his goals tonight were so, so, so special. The first one was lovely, typical Salah, cutting into it onto his left foot and bending it into the far corner. And then the second one, the lovely little dink, it's just so much quality. Um, something Sadio Mane lacked at times tonight. Something Firmino had all night. He was sensational, deserved both his goals. Um, the Oxlade Chamberlain injury is a big blow. It leaves us pretty much with just an 11. It leaves us with uh, an 11-man team that is going to go to Kiev. Um, an 11 man team that you know it will be rotated a bit in the league I imagine um, but that's the 11 now that 11 that um, was on the pitch at half time there when Van Aldum came on is going to be the 11 now uh, Van Aldum I thought was absolutely superb um, I know he spits opinion but I thought it was awesome Henderson was phenomenal um, and we're so close we're so close to Kiev I booked my flights uh, a well, about a week ago um, Oli Bond in the shower over there um, is going to book his shortly. We're going to go out tonight and enjoy ourselves. My man of the match is Mo Salah. Leave a comment with your man of the match. And leave a comment with whether you think we're through. Um, don't say anything about underestimating. Just give me your honest opinions. Do you think we're there? I don't want to hear any, any on the fence stuff. We're so close. I know it's only 95% done, but that is more than I've taken before the game. Um, I'm thrilled. I'm so proud of the Reds tonight. We were awesome. We deserve to reach Kiev. We're so close to reaching Kiev. Uh, subscribe to this channel for the Rome vlog. I'm going to go to Rome next week. Um, Want to enjoy ourselves. So, so sad to see 
uh, what happened with the stabbing tonight outside the ground. No one wants to see that. I, I know some of our fans' behaviour was unacceptable um, with a city coach. I don't condone that. But, you know, actual direct fan on fan violence, what we saw tonight, was fucking disgusting to see. Um, and yeah, it makes me feel a bit uneasy about Rome, but obviously just stay safe, you know, just don't wear colours, just don't act like tits in Rome. Um, but you know, let, let's not let let's not let that kind of overshadow how excited we should be. Um, we just want to go there and watch football. Um, there will be a minority of Liverpool fans out there that are going to be dickheads because every football match will have that minority. Um, Roma tonight, you know. Um, yeah, let's not let's not get beaten up in Rome, please. You know, let's 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 be let's be let's go there in the sun, wear our shorts, and enjoy ourselves. Yeah, and let's have a night out after. Let's celebrate going to Kiev because we're so close. We're so close to number six. Is it going to come? Is it going to come? Anyway, subscribe to me if you're new. There's loads of vlogs to come. Um, and yeah, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook for more. Up with the Reds. Up Mo Salah. And I'll see you next time.